Right, very uh, healthy tips for you right now. If you are what you eat, and these words could not be truer when it comes to the health of your cardiovascular system, in particular, the lining of your arteries, the largest organ in our bodies. Well, Dr. Rob is here to tell us what three second tests we can do each day to help protect our cardiovascular health. Good to see you again. So, there's a three second test? Three seconds. Can you believe it? I really couldn't. When I read that, I, I was like, what does he have up his sleeve for us today? And it's one of the coolest tests that you're ever going to see, and we use it with a lot of our elite athletes. Uh -huh. A lot of Olympic athletes use this test to know where their nitric oxide levels are because nitric oxide is what we're talking about today with cardiovascular health. Okay. And you go, what is nitric oxide? So, if you eat a lot of healthy vegetables, in particular lots of leafy greens like arugula, uh -huh. spinach, yep. Swiss chards, a lot of the colorful vegetables, and in particular beetroot juice, which is why we have this here today. Right. It allows your body to produce more nitric oxide. So you're like, well, wh what's this nitric oxide do? Right. Well, nitric oxide is very important for dilating our blood vessels. It helps keep that inner lining of the blood vessel, uh -huh. which is called the vascular endothelium, this one cell thick lining, very healthy. And it secretes the nox nitric oxide, which allows for dilation of the blood vessel, keeps bl uh, platelets from sticking to it, monocytes from sticking to it. That bad cholesterol that we hear about, the LDL. Cholesterol, yes. yep. nitric oxide keeps oxidized LDL cholesterol from sticking to the walls and forming plaques. So, how do we know if we have nitric oxide or enough of it in our system? Well, I've got this really cool three second test that we can do. Okay. Yeah. Live on there? Yeah, live on the air. We're going to see what your nitric oxide pool is like. All right. So, all you're going to do is you're going to lick this stick right here. Okay. So, make sure the end of your tongue's moist. Uh huh. There you go. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to fold that in half. Oh, you want to see? Wanna you want to? Okay. Yeah. All right, so, so fold it in fold half. It half. Now hold that for three seconds together. One. So you're gonna lick two, this. Two, three. Let's take a look. Not enough saliva or so what? now if you look right here, see it's just barely pink. What we really want to see is this really dark pink. Oh shoot. Right? We want really, really dark pink. Should so I go to the hospital now or you're, wait you're, after you might have to. <laughs> Let's see. I'm also I have no pink. Well you, did you touch your Yeah, you guys don't eat enough fruit and vegetables. Let's oh, take a look man. here. Let me show you what it really is supposed to look like. Okay. From the eat, dock. Yeah, from the dock. So we use this with our Olympic athletes to let them know. Are they getting enough fruits and vegetables? Yeah. Oh, well, you really. We got to lick it, right? And we okay. fold it in half. Maybe I didn't lick it enough. One, two, three. Now okay. watch. Three second test. Not pink. Well, I didn't have any vegetables, but Listen, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, <laughs> I see. Yeah, I see. So you're on the low one with me. Yeah, I'm on the you low one. You were the bleeding. three of us are taking a whack. Well, there we go. See, now it's starting to turn oh, pink. Oh, it is starting to turn pink. Yeah, I had to give a little press. So. Yeah. So if you look there, I can see so that I'm low on my nitric oxide pool. Okay. I didn't have any fresh vegetables or beet juice for breakfast. Yep. So you can expect those pools to deplete. The more you exercise, the more you're active, you deplete those nitric oxide pools, which are very uh, helpful at slowing vascular aging, preventing cardiovascular disease, helping prevent metabolic disease, sure. diabetes, hypertension. So this three-second test lets you know, are you getting enough of your fruits and vegetables a day to make more nitric oxide? The benefit of it is, it's very powerful in the sense that, oh, hey, wait a minute. Mine really didn't turn pink. Yeah. I need yeah, to get more spinach, arugula, or beet juice in. Sure. If you actually drink one of these and test it in about an hour, your pools will be way elevated. Will you leave me one of those and I'll try it? At yeah, the we'll try it again. We'll try it. See if that really works. works out. Test you out. Of course, all this information, though, uh, you just released your book, The Low T Book. Is, is that in The Low T Book? I actually talk about vascular endothelium and how to have healthy okay. vascular endothelium because yep. it's all about the blood flow. Sure. If the blood doesn't flow, you know what they say the sex is a no go, go right? You got to have blood they flow everywhere. So, Tip of the day, yep. drink your beet juice. Okay. Drink your beet juice. That's all you need to do. Oh, yeah. One beet juice a day will explode those nitric oxide levels. More information, lowteambook.com. Dr. Rob, thanks so much for coming on and testing us. Clearly, we need some nitrous oxide. <laughs> and, uh, well, nitric oxide. Yeah, yeah, nitric oxide. Boost that libido. All right.